in life, sometimes we have stress and that can cause us to eat emotionally. And if you have a obstacle in front of you, whether it's today, tomorrow, or it's just something from the past, letting go is everything. It's really the third step to the zero hunger revolution. And one of the things that was taught to me years ago from Louise Hay is the power of affirmations. And on today's podcast, we're going to sit down with a woman who uses affirmations every single day. Her name is Countess Luann. You know her from The Real Housewives of New York. She's one of my dearest friends. And she's going to share with us her keys to overcoming obstacles. We're also going to have some fun and talk about her new show that's coming to Los Angeles and rumor with Sonia. Hi, my name is Jorge Cruz, but I'm also known as the Zero Hunger Guy. I'm a celebrity fitness trainer and a multiple New York Times bestselling diet author with 12 million fans. You may have seen my work with Oprah Winfrey, Khloe Kardashian, Kelly Clarkson, or even Steve Harvey. My career started because I was addicted to sugar, carbs, salty snacks, and stress. And experts told me to simply count calories to get control. They were wrong. My passion to get radical control over both physical and emotional health has led me to find science-proven shortcuts that help my clients drop 25 belly inches or even more fast and permanently. And I know I can help you too. Welcome to the Zero Hunger Revolution. I'm with one of my dearest friends. We met many years ago, Countess Luann. She is, how can I say, one of the most extraordinarily sweet, intelligent women I've ever met. And she now has an incredible show we're gonna talk about coming to Los Angeles this next week. She's been really doing her cabaret. Now, how many years, Countess? Please say hi to everyone, please. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's great to see you, Jorge. It's been a minute, and I can't wait to see you in Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm going to be at the El Rey Theater June 23rd to the 26th with my all-new cabaret show. So excited to get to LA. The last time I was there was at the Wiltern in, in, back in 2019. So to be back performing live oh. uh, is awesome. You know what? I think what I am so excited about is that this show is something we all need right now. covid really took the wind out of so many of us. And I wanted to ask you, as much as the show is the most entertaining thing out there, and I think Variety said it best, right? Variety Magazine, they said that you were just beyond. And I think the show is going to deliver for anyone who wants to see a true cabaret. I want you to share with us what, what we can expect. But tell us this before we could dive into the fun. Remind everyone, for me, COVID was a tough time. It really was. And if anyone has overcome publicly any kind of obstacles, you have, you've been the queen of overcoming them with grace, elegance. What is your tip for someone watching right now or listening to us that is still a little stuck and they have a hurdle in front of them? Give us your best mindset trick or whatever you do for art to overcome things because a lot of us lose that momentum and here you are proving to us that you can come back every single time. What's your best tip, Count, to share with us, please? Yeah, I would say my best tip is that you've got to keep it moving, no matter how many times you fall, and God knows I've fallen many, is that you have to get back up. And, you know, what I do and what I've done to motivate myself is I listen to a lot of positive affirmations. The talk that we give ourselves is so important, which is that pep talk that you would give to anybody if they were feeling down. You would say, hey, come on, it's going to be all right. But today's a new day. My father used to say, every day is a good day if you open your eyes. And I think that's so important because we only have the moment we only have today. And you can't wallow in, in your misery. You have to get out of your own way. I think a lot of people are stuck because they're stuck in their own mind. It's really about getting out of your mind and diving deep into just being, and that's being a human being, which is makes mistakes, which doesn't always do the right thing, which needs to change path. And I think that's really so important is really about how we talk to ourselves and giving ourselves our own pep talk. I think that is the most important thing during COVID. For me, I was struggling. I had, I turned 50 during COVID. I'm 51 now. Feeling great, of course. But you know how we all have our midlife crises. And I really, of course. I think for me, it's so funny that you said exactly what has helped me. And it's the power of affirmations. Yes. Needed to hear and to believe it. Is mm -hmm. there an 
else's that has resonated and would work right now that we could do together that if anyone is out there stuck. It's a weekend. We've got your show next year. We're going to talk about that and this new rumor about a show with Sonia. So we got to get a scoop. But what would be something right now that we could do together? Just for a minute, give me a quick, you're one of your favorite affirmations, maybe. I, you know, basically it's I'm enough. I'm good enough. I am strong. I am a good person. I am, I am love. I am joy. So it's basically just saying to yourself, I'm good enough because we are good enough just the way we are. And ultimately it is repeating those kind of affirmations about self-love. It's really about self-love. I love that. I love that. Oh, so here's my challenge for everyone watching. Do this with me and Countess right now. Let's just do it. And then we're going to dive into the fun stuff. You okay. said enough. Let's do it three times. You ready, Countess? Will you okay. lead us? But, and you have to say it with total belief in yourself that I am enough and say right? it with gusto. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Will you lead us, Countess? Take it away. Okay. And I always start with a deep breath because we forget to breathe. Also, when we're in stress, we're in that kind of mode. It is so important just to take a breath. And when you say that, hey, take a deep breath, people are like, yeah, just don't even talk to me. But it is so important to take those deep breaths and let's do it together. I am enough. I, I am, am good enough. I am good enough. Love I am good enough. I am good enough. I am good enough. I am good enough. That's right. Okay. <laughs> and, what? and maybe one more deep breath after that. And you're going to see, it's just already going to say, it's going to change your mood. It does for me. Uh, so deep breath in everyone. Oh, I love it. I feel like we had a cocktail <laughs> with no alcohol needed. <laughs> that's, that's what I do before I get on stage. <laughs> that is the key, everyone. I love it. All right, so now let's have some fun. First of all, thank you for your beautiful rosé. I literally love that because I'm not drinking right now. And I'll tell everyone briefly about this rosé you have, and then let's get into the show. So this okay. rosé, you can have all day. <laughs> yeah, you can drink, it, you can drink Fosé rosé all day. I, you know, I called it Fosé because it's really a play on faux, like a faux fur. And so I wanted to have something. And during the pandemic, I came up with this because my daughter and I are drinking and, and we couldn't find anything we really liked. So we decided to make something that we really liked because there was nothing in it. Beautiful bottle that's elevated. You're at the mercy of a mocktail artist when you go out. Usually it's sugary, which is really bad for you. And so I wanted to have something that you could order that looks like rosé, that you could be at a party and this bottle could be in with all the other rosés. You could pour yourself a glass and nobody knows you're not drinking because there's such a stigma related to, oh, I'll take a peri and people are like, she doesn't drink. She's no fun. So I want to take that stigma away and you have something and have an option. And whether you don't drink for a day, a week, or a year, this is a great option. I've seen people mix it with vodka. It's very, it's very good with vodka. And you have a glass of rosé, you have a glass of fosé. Let's say you have to drive for pregnant women, for spas, for there's so many reasons why this is something that we need on the market. And it's delicious. It's low calorie. It's one third the calories of a glass of wine. It is filled with beautiful ingredients that are natural and good for you. So it's not wine that we've taken the alcohol out of. We built it from the ground up to mimic wine and it really is delicious. So I can't wait for everyone to taste at drinkfosé.com. That's where people can buy it for the moment and, sure. and people are loving it. So I'm thrilled that, that my daughter and I have made something to, on the market that I, seems to be a void for that in the market. Fabulous. It's fabulous. All right. So now let's take me to El Rey Theater. First, tell everyone it's iconic. And then the man doing your show worked with Barbara Streisand. Tell us a little bit what to expect on this new show, which is this week. I'm going to see you for opening night on Thursday, right? Yeah. It, yeah. This week, opening night is June 23rd, and I'll be there through the 26th at the El Rey. And I mean, it's an iconic theater. There have been so many greats that have played there before. So I'm, I'm thrilled to bring my all new show. My new director, Richard J. Alexander, works with Kristen Chenoweth, who's the queen of Broadway. He's worked with Barbara Streisand. He still works with Barbara and so many others, just to name a few. And so 
it's incredible to work with such an amazing guy on this show. And I work really hard. I've been in rehearsals for months before. So it's a party. When you come, you're literally in my living room. We do, I sing my favorite songs, which I love and that everybody really knows and can sing along to. I love that because I love audience yeah. interaction. I do a and a with the audience and we talk housewives. You're going to yeah. see my new song in the show, F-Bombs on the G4 with the OGs, with, which I wrote after I got back from the Ultimate Girls Trip. There's a lot of video packages and it's like a fashion show. You're going to see some Giovanni. It really is a full-on show and people are immersed and are loving it. And so I'm thrilled to bring that to Los Angeles. Oh, Carol, this sounds amazing. <laughs> this is what we all need. There's nothing like seeing you live. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait for you to see the show. You're going to love it. It's a good time. Hey, with a minute or two that remains, tell us about this little thing I got whispered in my ear. What are you possibly doing with Sonia? I hear it's like the Simple Life with Paris Hilton. What's the... Listen, that is a rumor. That was on page six. And uh, listen, that would be a great show. Who wouldn't want to see Sonia and I live in the simple life? <laughs> you girls would go somewhere in the Midwest, not LA. That's what they're saying. I'm, I hope that comes to fruition because it would be great. Well, I think this is the time for us to have some fun. Come to LA. They can get tickets. Where are tickets available? Where do they go to get tickets for the show? You can get tickets and Fose at CountessLuann.com. And I can't wait to see you in LA and, and to catch up with my fans out there. I can't wait to see you, Countess. I'll leave you with this. Talk. Life is a cabaret, my friends. I'll see you at the cabaret. I love it. Countess, we love you so much. Thank you so much. I can't <laughs> wait to see you soon. Love you, Marie. Thank you. All right, today's episode is complete, guys. Thank you so much for listening. And I want to ask you to please subscribe to the show on Apple Podcast. Uh, and please leave a review on Apple as well. Give it five stars if you think the show has helped you in some way to transform your thinking. I hope it has. And more importantly, share your comments, your review of what today's episode did for your thinking and what you got out of it. Because I think that is how we spread this and for me, this is a revolution. This is not uh, a podcast. This is a way of life. And I hope to transform over a million lives in the next couple of years. And I need your help. So please become part of the Zero Hunger Revolution by leaving that review on Apple Podcasts and subscribing today. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Peace and purpose. And I'll see you on the next episode.